is Jim Fraser. I, my real name is Lowell, but I had an Uncle Sam that decided to change it to Jim. Uh, I wanted to make a film this morning uh, to to just so I could say thank you to you and so you and I could, so I could give you a copy of my saying thanks. I I I believe that uh, I somehow or other I could not do what I want to do without your help, and I want to say straight from my heart that I. It, I need to say thank you. I want to say thank you, and this is one way of doing it. Uh, I've been in a security business since 1943 when I was drafted by the Army, and, and we started in World War II. I've tried to do security my whole life, and, and I, I never asked for it. When I got to be about 18, I got in the army, and then then, I, then in about 1951, after I got my doctorate in mathematics, the what's now called the NSA back in that time it was called the Armed Forces Security Agency came to the campus of Indiana University and said, "Would you work for us?" I did ask them what they did, and they said they won't tell me. Anyhow, I spent some time in the in the beginning trying to find out about a little bit about what cryptography and things like that was all about. But during that period of time, I met some very important individuals, which later on ended up in the Hall of Fame and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you read read the uh, NSA uh, area, you'll find all their names and everything. But in any case, I think NSA did a lot of important things, both on the offense and the defense. And and uh, I don't know. Uh, we're we're spending a lot of time trying to help the whole world be safer. And in any case, I, I try to learn what it takes to do to, to be secure. Uh, one thing that happened a little bit during my military life was that I did, I, toward the end of World War II, I flew over Nagasaki and Hiroshima. I did, I did see some 200,000 innocent women and kids got killed. So I thought I could do something with cryptography to, to worry about protecting nuclear weapons. So during my stay with NSA, I did try to do something about nuclear weapons command and control. So during my life with NSA, I also worked with nuclear weapons. And some of the people that are here, but also uh, who happened to stay with me, like. Tim White down at in us down down by Washington down by in Florida with me is also involved. So, so I thank you. Some of you who may have worked with me on the nuclear weapons. I don't remember, but in, in any case, uh, that's a, another one of my little play, games I've been playing. Uh, so, if you want to talk about that later on, we can talk about that now too, because that got declassified. But one of the silly things we did about that was to try to get the president's voice to turn a nuclear weapon from non-nuclear to nuclear, so make sure that that didn't happen by mistake. Okay, and then, and then one, one thing that has happened through this whole life, our whole business with the world, was to try to get somebody, try to, we thought at the beginning that all you had to do was to have a good, Mathematics in the in the in the uh, whole area of getting getting good cryptography. I thought that was enough, but pretty soon we had to put it into a machine, and you had to get the machine to work right. And then all of a sudden, we had to get the man or person, or lady, I guess, 
that used a machine to, to be, you had to protect, you had to, you had to trust them. And how do you trust a person? So all of a sudden, in, we had a trusted person and a trusted machine with a good cryptography in it. And then later on, all of a sudden, communications came into gay. So we had communications, we had a system, we had a machine and so forth. So all of a sudden, we had system security. And, and, and all, uh, so well, I thought at the beginning that all we had to do was get guys and girls like I, what, is, what was the beginning were mathematicians so all of a sudden, so I thought, I thought that beginning mathemati mathematics was good enough. Turned out that we, we were sitting in the background. We were a necessary but not sufficient group. Anyhow, you guys have seen that whole thing happen. And then about when, when we were in the middle of doing it right, all of a sudden all these commercial junk started coming into the being. And that made it. That made a real difference in, in the process. And all of a sudden, in the process of doing the whole thing, I thought I thought we had had everything going. But apparently, apparently, the uh, people who were using the machines, like the military, the government people, and I don't know who else is using this stuff, but it turned out that we had to. We had to, they, they could decide what they wanted to do, and we were sitting on the sidelines just trying to advise them. And, and anyhow, in this whole business, the ISSI turned out to be, I thought, the only people in the whole group who knew what was going on and we and and that was uh, not just mathematicians; it was engineers, scientists, real scientists, scientists who knew the background, knew all the knew underst understood what the what the bad guys were do could do, uh, uh, and and also what good people could do to make it different. And you you. All the rest of ISSI, including those who aren't with us anymore, who are already up with the Lord, I think I wish, wish I had some way of saying thanks to them as well. But you have done a, such a great job that I want to say thanks to you. And, and, and I don't know any way to say it, but I think that the, we've done a whole lot for the world. And, and, and I'm hoping it'll mean that the world is safe. I'm hoping that this company that's sitting right here with us is going to help do it, and, and hoping you can help them do it too. And that thanks very much for everything, and I'm thanking you very much. I'm real proud of you, and, I, and I'm, I'm proud of a little, little bit that I've done, and also that my son Ron has helped us do as well. Thank you very much.